guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Thought I'd start out with a, what should be an easy project on the mill here. Uh, I've got this customer job here on a shaft that's broken too. And this thing I was going to weld it together, but it turns out it's bent, which is probably why it broke in the first place. It was uh, held rigid here in the bearing and flopping around out there on the end, and it just fatigued and broke. So, uh, gonna make a new one. Got a piece of the 35 millimeter shafting, which matches what this is. So all I should have to do is cut these three keyways in it. And they're all, I believe, uh, clearance keys. And I don't have an overall exact length on this shaft, so I'm just pushing it up together. And got it in the slot to match this one. And I'm just gonna take and mark from where to where. I got a better tool for that. Run on. All right, so I've transferred over the sections that need milled out for the keyways. So let me get a couple of clamps and I'll rotate this in the slot and clamp it down and be ready to mill. So maybe you can see what I've got going on here since I don't have a digital readout I'm working totally on this machine. I've got an indicator down here on the saddle. It tells me when I come in to my proper depth because I've got this cut where I want on this first keyway and the other three will be identical. And then I've got the indicator on the top because this is a 3 8 10 mil but it's a 10 millimeter key so I've got to uh, widen it out. Uh, and I know I've, I'm set to 0 and 15 over and that gets me where I want to be on the key. Uh, this call has got it or the holder I gotta do some work on it. It's got enough run out that it's cutting oversized, so that's why I'm gonna take 15 to get 393 from 375. So let me uh, move this out and move it down to the next one and we'll get it cut and hopefully I can get you where you can see it this time.
Well, there it is. One pretty good facsimile shaft. Uh, I've got the key slots in the right places. And uh, the diameter is right on for what it's supposed to be. So, I've still got uh, a lot more practice to do with this boring mill to get to where I'm comfortable with all the controls and everything. But uh, these keyways are pretty tight tolerance, so uh, getting them to come out. Got two nice milled out slots there. Well, one I did, the other one's on the broken shaft. So getting these keyways to come out where they're a good tight fit uh, is what I was looking for. I'm pretty tickled that I was able to do that on this machine because uh, you're pretty much holding less than a thousandth on width and I had to step over to do it because of the 375 diameter cutter cutting the 10 millimeter keyways. So it worked out. Uh, everything fits okay. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.